Hey guys, what's up? This is your girl Sunny of S Mills Media and we are down here at the Look and Dine In Cinema for the debut of Fortis Femina film, a film by Matesh Patel and I'm here with some of these lovely guests today. How are you doing guys? I'm Lori Nugent. Why don't you guys go ahead and state your name and let us know what did you feel about the film? I'm Desmond Fowler. Um, just being a male, um, actually, my wife is actually a very, very dominant woman in the industry as well as Lori. And it's just nice to see women empowered. And to, to, to be honest, it, it makes me think. At the end of the day, I mean, we have women this powerful in our lives. Yes. There's nothing that we cannot do. Yes. I was actually touched by the film. It was, it was like the story of my life. Like, I felt like I was living through this film, though. So and it's like it's you're with the balls, right? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It's like we literally went on the journey with these ladies. That's right. And how important is that? How do you feel like how important is that for many of many other women to actually see this film? Well, I, to be able for it to be out there more and more and more. I feel like it's really important for a lot of women to see that like they're not the only people going through one struggle or they're not the only one they're not alone out there at the end of the day like sometimes it's best to talk about the issue over holding it back and keeping it down within mm -hmm. talk because people there are great people around you that yeah. you never know what they've been through as well <laughs> absolutely absolutely where was there any uh, particular thing in the film that you can relate to yourself Personally, I can relate to uh, I can relate to just having a troublesome childhood. Okay. And being actually, as you stated about yourself, being a foster child. Okay. So I grew up in the foster care system as well. Okay. Um, I was in it my whole life, and I was fortunate enough that one of my family members ended up picking me up. Ah, nice blessings on blessings, and look where we are today. Look at that. We're sitting here. I never thought I'd be interviewing on a red carpet. Okay. Well, we're here. All right. Thank you for having me. Yes, absolutely. Go ahead and state your name and let them know where it is that you're from. And I am Lori Nunez, and I am a Fortis Femina member. Um, I did go on the retreat with all these beautiful ladies, and it was absolutely astounding and life-changing. And I was so excited to help work on this movie, mm -hmm. and it's just, it's been a blessing. Yeah, I think with Sedona, them picking Sedona and it being in Sedona, Sedona is so uplifting. You know, and Arizona in itself is so uplifting. That's why I actually moved here and, you know, and different things like that. So, yeah, it was a really, really good film. And thank you for your feedback. My name is Cami Nunez, and I'm here to support my aunt, Lori Nunez. Yes. With my fiance, Desmond Fowler. Aw. Uh, what did you think of the film? It was beautiful. It was hit. well shot honestly it reminded us of one of our favorite shows we're watching right now too what show is that we're watching suit oh and it reminded us the same like cinematography of it uh -huh. beautifully done so yeah yeah so well thank you guys so much for coming out and we appreciate you guys thank you thank you so much my name is Alyssa, and i'm from the phoenix area okay and then what did you feel about the film for the femia femina well an unexpected uh epiphany or a change in my life because I lost my husband eight and a half years ago. He was my best friend. We'd been together 20 years and I haven't been able to fast forward my life into a new life. Mm -hmm. But when I saw this film and saw the lady uh, with her daughter uh, on the ground, it made me realize uh, her, her lesson was to let go and I realized it's been time it's time for me to let go yeah. so this uh, film really affected me emotionally mm -hmm. and in a good way so very positive very good job done for this film do it's, you encourage um, anyone else to watch the film I think everyone should watch this film because everyone has had some kind of tragedy or or a problem based through their life and I think this just might help them let go of the things that they carry day to day. Yeah. I even had a you know, a life yes. an experience from this film and when I say that it was actually a beautiful film, it actually was a really beautiful film because like I said, I actually can relate. I felt like I was in the actual yeah. film myself. You felt their yeah, pain. I you felt, felt their transition, you felt their happiness I've been there positive uh, affirmations in the end. And I think everybody deserves to have that in their life. All righty. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. All right. I'm Rob. I'm from Ahwatukee, which technically is Phoenix, but also kind of Chandler. And uh, 
and I just saw Forgy's Femina, and, and I loved it. It's a great film. It was uh, a story that you don't see in movies a lot right now, and I think that uh, members of the audience really responded to it, myself included. Do you feel like, um, as a lot, a lot of things that our women are going through, that they need to be, that they need to watch this film? To Absolutely. Uh, I was all, I was the editor on the film, uh, candidly, so. Uh, I'd seen the film a number of times, uh, had worked on the editing for uh, the performances, and, and really had gotten to know hey. a lot of the performers through the raw footage. And, and from that perspective, I think that they did a great job portraying each of the, the real-life characters and those who uh, played themselves were right. impressive. And I think that's also you know, a compliment to Mitesh, the director. Yeah, shout out to Mitesh Patel for putting together such an amazing film. I mean, this is beautiful. I mean, I know... Um, it had to be hard for some of the women, too, to act these experiences out from, you know. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, I've gotten to be Facebook friends with uh, at least Christine and, and, and a yeah. couple others who played themselves in the film. Yeah. And um, and it's been really interesting to sort of uh, have edited the film and, and know her background and now get to know her as a person on Facebook, as, as someone that volunteers for the Chandler Film Festival and, and Coco as well. And, uh, you know, just just uh, see it in real life after editing the movie version. And, you know, it's a very it's it's it definitely speaks to the current environment of movies that blend sort of real life and fiction. Yes. Yes. It definitely like I said, it's the story of my life. I felt like I was in the That's film. Right. I should have been in the film, but you know, but right. it was beautiful. You guys did a wonderful job and thank you for your feedback so much. Absolutely. It's, it's definitely one of those movies that could have been a documentary, but I'm glad that it was yeah. done. Yeah. It's a narrative. All righty. Well, thank you so much. Thanks. My name is Jennifer and I'm from Queen Creek, Arizona. Okay. So I have to ask you a question. How did you feel about the new film, Four Tits for Mina? Um, it was such a treat for me to get to be here to see this film. Um, I know two of the actresses, and so I know just a little bit about their story, but the vulnerability that those women had in opening up and sharing their story was truly powerful. And um, I really got a lot out of the message of women connecting with other women and having each other's back yes. and being there for each other through those challenges that we have. So well, I heard, I think that's what it's all about. It really is. I, it really came through in that film. And we need that for each other and being able to uplift each other more and more and more and more. I absolutely agree. Was there anything in the scene um, that really, really touched you or that you can relate to? Um, I really related actually a lot to um, Rebecca's story. Okay. Um, some of the things that I've been through, so I related a lot to her story. Um, but yeah, there was a, something in all of those women's story that I think we can relate to. And how were you able to overcome some of those things? Um, lots of help. <laughs> <laughs> um, really good, supportive people who've come into my life when I needed them. Well, that's a beautiful thing. And I like how, too, um, where they talked about uh, the breath work and breathing and, you know, and that's kind of what got me through a lot of things too. Yoga, meditation, just being able to speak affirmations, going out in nature, you know, and walking in nature and different things like that. So yeah, I definitely can relate. Yeah. Those are all been important parts of my journey too. Uh, well, we appreciate you. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. My name is Kayleen and I am from Mesa, Arizona. All right, all right, uh, Arizona native, right? Yes. All right, so let us know how did you feel about the film for the Femina? Oh, it was so wonderful. I'm so grateful that I was able to be here tonight. I think a lot of women can really relate to the stories that are told in this film. And we just have such a a strong bond when we can come together as women and share that vulnerability and share the things that we've been through and really help each other through the hard time. I think that that is very, 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 very important. And I think that this film needs to get out more and more to our beautiful women and really to not just women, men as well, too, because these with us, it forms different relationships and different things like that. And we have to be able to grow from these experiences and different things like that and have been within, within ourselves as well. So absolutely. Was there any, um, was there like a favorite part um, in the movie or anything that touched you in the film that was like most important to you or that you can relate to? Yeah, definitely. Um, I have been through a lot of difficult experiences in my life as well. And it's good to know that you're not alone, you know, that we all have our story and we all 
can relate to each other and whether it's the exact same story or not, we all have difficult times and it's so wonderful to know that we have tools that can help us get through those times. I love how she talked about the breathing, the yoga, all of that. And then God has really been a huge part of my healing and my ability to move forward and um, to pursue the life that I want to live and to be able to overcome those hard times. And Betty, anything you want to say to Betty? Um, that I actually is beautiful. Oh, that's so amazing. I actually met Betty at a networking event a few years ago. But I had no idea when I was invited to this movie tonight that she wrote it. And so when I saw her name on the screen, I was just like, oh my goodness, we're yeah. Facebook friends. You know, so I just want to say congratulations to Betty and thank you so much for sharing this amazing story and for all of the work that you do to help so many women. Peace and love to Betty Ramirez. We thank you so much. Like I said, this movie, this film inspired me as well. Like I said, I felt like I was living it. I felt like I was in it. So it definitely touched me as well. So thank you so much. Thank you. I'm Lavender Gill. I actually live in Philadelphia. Oh, okay. And uh, we flew out here for the premiere, and I'm the screenwriter. Oh, nice. How long have you been doing screen? Uh, I've been writing for 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> For this particular thing or for screenwriting? In yeah. Well, it's in screenwriting in particular, huh? um, I'm a storyteller. doesn't matter if I'm using a camera or words or, you know, speaking on a stage. I love telling great stories. Real life situations as well, too. Absolutely. All right. So, you got, I got I to gotta ask you about being like... You know, today is the first day I saw the movie. Also, uh, What was your take on it? I was very happy with it. I was really pleased. Because you never know, you know, when you write a screenplay and you hand it over to somebody, it's like selling a car. You don't really have any control over it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to ask you, um, are, is there anything in there that you can relate to that's relatable to you? Oh, absolutely. You know, uh, the first thing about it is a hard story because it's about trauma. Right. You know, there's a lot of trauma that's going on and it's difficult to tell that in an entertaining way. And the second thing is you have seven main characters in like an 85, 90 minute movie. Right. So each character is getting about 10 minutes. Right. And so what I really had to do was dig into each one and just kind of find like what's at the core of that story. And you know, it's not easy to write and it brings up stuff when you're writing. Oh yeah. There's a, there's a famous uh, quote that I love, uh, no tears in the writer, no tears on stage. You know, and so uh, it was an emotionally draining experience, yeah. Do you think it's very important for um, more of our uh, youth to watch this and you know, more women to watch this? You know, uh, I've been blessed to be a college professor for a long time and deal with a lot of young people. Mm -hmm. And the trauma is there in everyone. Yeah. I can't imagine anyone goes through life without feeling some, right. some type of pain. And being able to grow and actually heal. Well, they yeah. don't teach you how to deal with it in school, do they? <laughs> and so uh, it's a difficult thing to deal with it's a rite of passage and uh, you know I think even from the reaction we got from the crowd today we had multiple people talk about their issues and how the film had helped them already Myself, it, it felt like I was already in a film where I needed to be in the film because I mean it was it was just beautiful I can relate yeah. yep. and that's when you go okay we did a good job right yeah absolutely thank you so much I appreciate it thank you so much thank you Hey guys, what's up? I am actually standing in front of one of the beautiful actresses that was in the film, Fortis Femina. How you doing today? I'm good. Guys, this is Nikki Bustamante. Did I say it right? Bustamante. Bustamante. Okay. <laughs> so, I just have to uh, ask you, how long have you been like acting? Is this your like first go around or? So this is my first feature film. Okay. Um, you did amazing, by the way. Thank you so much. Yeah. I've been acting for six years. I'm a primarily a commercial actor, but this was my first nice. film, so it was it was so much fun. What was your inspiration behind the film? Like, how did you get in it? Like, get the part or? Um, so, I was asked to audition for the okay. film, um, and it was actually it was pretty crazy because the audition when I was asked to do the audition they asked me to do a monologue mm -hmm. um, and I and the first monologue that came to my head my to my mind was um, a, a one where just basically I, it was dramatic right so right I brought out every emotion and it was 
It was about a man not marrying me after yeah. years of yeah. dating, me throwing a fit. And so they loved the just the variety of emotions I was able to pull out. And I got the honor to play Mariela Gomez, which I just met her at the way side. And it, it was just an incredible story. So it was such a huge, it was such a huge honor for me. It's such a great opportunity to play somebody who has such an incredible story that so many people can relate to. Right, that's what I was gonna ask you, like being around all of those women, how was it for you and how hard was that for you? Like them telling your story, I know, cause I know I cried, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And just different things like. Yeah, so I, as, as we all, everyone has gone through some, some traumatic event, even if it's, you know, some are bigger than others, mm -hmm. uh, but we can all relate to something in that movie. Yes. I was able to relate with almost every single one of those yeah. females. So it was very hard for me right. to listen to their stories and not think about my own, yes. my own life, my own experiences. So, man, and then the ones that I didn't actually experience that story, mm -hmm. I put myself in that, yeah. like, actually living it oh my yeah. goodness but i'm a crier i watch the videos and i cry so yeah yeah i am too <laughs> yeah i'm a water sign so of course yeah aquarius no pisces i'm aquarius okay Aquarius. Yeah, yeah you are water berries yeah so but yeah man like you guys did such an amazing job like i said it's the story of my life i definitely can relate to it i felt like i was actually in the film with you guys so that's our goal is to bring out emotion. Our goal is right. to touch your heart and then create some type of action from that. So whether that be healing or that be motivating to go and inspire other women, right. just be a support system or to create a safe place to make somebody else feel comfortable and vulnerable. And do you think that um, this will be good for more of our teenage young girls to watch as well too? Yes, because you don't have to go through those struggles alone. Right. Um, you know, it it just it shows that when you are surrounded with other people who want the best for you, mm -hmm. that's where you can thrive. Yeah, um, and it, it it shows that it shows it shows surround yourself with some good people. Oh like, yeah. yeah, through yoga, through meditation. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. What do they kick? They, they kept saying it's okay to not be okay. Right, that cannot be any more true. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. And a real friend will sit in it with you instead of trying they to cry with you. Or yeah. Let you be in that place. And I yeah. think that's, that's so amazing. Well, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Yes. Again, thank you yes. for sharing how it touched you. Oh, I really, absolutely, yeah. I, I love. I loved doing this movie, and I'm so grateful that it did have the impact. Thank you. I, I felt like I it, it was meant for me. I was here for a reason, so and it to come out on top of me. Uh, yeah, yeah, me, yeah. You know, exactly. I had to do all this. this it's like did that. This movie made me feel like, wow, this was meant for. Yeah, because you get a lot of people that always say, oh, you don't look like you've been through that, or you don't look. But like, how do you supposed to look? You don't. You just well, never know. You know. Or even more, why I love my character so much because. She said, in front of the camera, she knows exactly who she needs to be, right. what she needs to say. She's got it. Right. But when she's by herself, that's where the struggle is. Yeah. You could put on a mask, put but, but who are you when you're by yourself? Oh. And so, it's, very, very it's, it's pretty incredible. Thank you so much. Thank you. Can I get a hug? Yes. <laughs> yes. Hey, thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Yes. All right. Hey. Oh, good. Good to see you. Yes, likewise, likewise. Why don't you go ahead and state your name and then just let everyone know where it is you're from. Hey, guys. My name is Michelle Tilka, and I'm a neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> don't know. I'm from Chandler. <laughs> yeah. Did you watch the film? I did. For it is Femina, I, right? For it is Femina. Yes. What did you think about the film? Oh, my God. They, uh, they did, like, such an amazing role playing Betty. I could, like, see... Betty, I have one thing to say to Betty. Like mm -hmm. Betty, uh, the woman who played her role, the woman who played your role, mm -hmm. she did a better job being a Betty <laughs> than you. <laughs> oh God, she was like so much Betty. Yeah, I like her. This movie, like I said, was very inspiring and different things like that. Um, is there anything that um, you can take away from the film? 
So uh, there's so much I got to know. As a guy, uh, here's my feedback. Mm -hmm. Like, I got to know so much of uh, struggles that women go through mm -hmm. that as a guy, I would like never know in my life. But uh, fortunately, I have like uh, the women in my life. Mm -hmm. I know the struggles and I could relate their struggles with what uh, it was shown in Fortis Terminal. Yeah. And uh, it's uh, really moving. Sometimes you never know. Yeah. We'd be the strongest women out here doing all of this stuff and you never know what they go, they, they've been through. Yeah. So. And right here we are one of the strongest women. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, well like one more feedback I would say is uh, you can create like, you know, for this Femina 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ah, oh, man, yeah. Like six more movies getting like a in whole depth. tribe of women or in even with men. Yeah. <laughs> Get like in-depth story about like every character. I would love to see that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think this helps with uh, relationships, friendship, like oh. love, just being able to um, tap more back into yourself as well, you know? And hey. just healing yourself. Hey, you know what? I, from the movie, huh? I, I learn how to treat girls even better. I know, right? Uh, okay. All right. <laughs> With that being said, we appreciate you for coming out. Thank you so much. So you're new. Appreciate yeah. you. All right. Good to see you again. Yes. All right. Hey, how you doing, Vito? Good. How are you, sweetie? Good, good, good. Go ahead and state your name and let everyone know where it is you're from. My name is Rebecca. I'm actually from Arizona. Oh, okay. Born and raised? No, I was born in Idaho. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. I live back in Virginia. Most of my life, so okay. Back to Arizona. Okay, so I have to ask you. <laughs> Move back to Arizona, sweetie. <laughs> so I have to ask you, what did you think of, of the film? I thought it was Mina. great. I think it really makes people like put things in perspective. You don't, you don't know what people go through in life and what happens. And I tell people all the time, you should never judge a book by its cover because you don't know what's going on with their life. I and agree. We just gotta love each other because yeah. we don't know what's going on and we don't know what struggles people do have right. and don't have. And do you think more and more women should come together like that? Yes, I do each because other. I think a lot of times these days, women they try to judge each other. Yeah. And if someone looks a certain way or some, someone has something else, like accept the beauty of everybody. Like everybody has beauty. Everybody yes. has something good. Accept the beauty that love we have. Love you. Be yourself. Yes. Be love comfortable you, be in your own skin. And be comfortable with like accepting that other people are beautiful and other people are amazing and that's what makes our world great. I love it. I love yes. it. Thank you so much. Oh, thank, you, thank you for coming out. Yes. All right. We appreciate you. Yes. Absolutely.